Let's talk about one of the more controversial lawsuits in furniture design. A young Harry Bertoia went to work for Charles and Ray Eames back in the 1940s. The Eames and Herman Miller had launched this wire chair in 1951. But Harry Bertoia never was credited for his work on this chair. In 1952, a year after the Eames, Harry Bertoia and Knoll released this chair. And so Herman Miller and Knoll got into a lawsuit over who owns the intellectual property, patents, and technology. Herman Miller won the lawsuit, meaning that Knoll had to change the detailing of the edge with a thicker rod bent around the chair. Funny enough though, the Bertoia chair is probably his best known work and more famous than the Eames wire chair, arguably.